As for the China strategy, I would say, you know, there was an actual effort to bridge the traditional divide between uh, the security types and the economic types. And the centerpiece of that, of course, was the, the Trans-Pacific Partnership and the idea that the United States would create uh, a new uh, web, uh, a network of alliances that would uh, both seek to challenge China, but also to uh, essentially create a new framework and a new order that could work in a new uh, environment where a much more assertive China was existing both economically and uh, in terms of its security presence, its presence in the region. Um, well, the first thing that President Trump did when he came to office is blow up the TPP. And what I've seen uh, in the last 10 years is, is really a fraying of uh, a consensus that, that it was about uh, integrating China and bringing it into this uh, new order that we would then construct. I don't think you hear a lot of that anymore from either party. And so I think one question will be, of course, do we, how do we come out of this period of uncertainty? Uh, and we don't know this, the ending to the story yet, uh, but I think that will largely dictate how much of an open war we're having about America's role in the world.